Okay, problem four. Let r be the region in the first quad quadrant bounded by the graph of y equals 2 squared to x, the horizontal line y equals 6, and the y-axis as shown in the figure above. And right now I'm cheering because I'm seeing that we're going to be doing some areas and volumes, and I love these types of problems because I know I can get some good points on them. So hopefully you are cheering as well. All right, find the area of r. So for part a, the area is going to equal, we need an x value to an x value, so it's going to go from 0 to 9. And then it's always just going to be top minus bottom. The top is the horizontal line, 6. And then minus the bottom is the curve, 2 squared x. Okay, then from here, we're going to evaluate it. I'm just going to separate it into two separate integrals. And the square root of x is actually x to the 1 half. Okay, so next, the integral of 6 is 6x minus, this integral will be 2 times x to the 3 halves because I'm increasing the power by 1, and then reciprocal on the outside will be 2 thirds. So this will be 6x minus 4 thirds x to the 3 halves. And then I'm going to evaluate it at 0 and 9. All right, when I plug in 9, 6 times 9 is 45 minus, and this is going to be 4 thirds times, if I plug 9 in, remember we do the square root first, so the square root of 9 is 3, 3 to the third power is 27. Okay, and then minus, if I plug 0 into both of those, I will get 0. All right, before we go and get a common denominator here, I notice that I can cancel the 3 and the 27, so I'm going to do that to make my life a little easier. So I'm going to get 45 minus 36, and 45 minus 36 is 18. So that is the area. That was fortunately worth three big points. We got one for the integrand, so just doing the top minus the bottom and correct correctly. We're going to get one point for correctly taking the antiderivative. So if you got this as your antiderivative, that was worth a point. And then if you got the correct answer, that was worth our third point. Okay, part B. Write, but do not evaluate, an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid generated when r is rotated about the horizontal line y equals 7. So I'm going to draw the line y equals 7 up here. And we're going to spin it. Um, I notice that we're revolving about a horizontal axis, so I'm going to be using the washer method. So my volume will equal, I know a pi goes on the outside, it's going to go from an x value to an x value. So again, it will go 0 to 9. And then we're going to do outer radius squared minus inner radius squared. So the outer radius, if you look at this line, which one of these curves, this, which one of those dots is furthest away from the axis, that's the 2 squared of x. And then don't forget, since the line is up at y equals 7, we're going to subtract 7 from each one of our curves. So that will be the first setup. And then minus, the inner radius will just be the line 6, but then again, we have to subtract 7 from that one. And then basically, we are done. If you wanted to simplify that at all, you could, but I wouldn't waste my time because I might simplify it incorrectly. So that is all set. That was, again, worth three whopping points. So let's see. Um, we're going to get two points for the correct integrand. So if you have everything right inside, that is worth one point. Uh, excuse me, two points. If maybe you have those backwards, I'd subtract a point. If you forgot the minus sevens, that would be subtracting a point. So that inside is worth two points. And then if you had the pi and the zero to nine, so you remembered both of those, that was worth your final third point. Okay, part C, region R is the base of a solid. For each y, the cross-section of the solid taken perpendicular to the y-axis is a rectangle whose height is three times the length of its base. Write, but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid. All right, we're going perpendicular to the y-axis, so everything must be in terms of y. Okay, and then when we do this, don't forget we'll be doing right minus left instead of top minus bottom. Okay, so we're going to have volume equals. It's going to go from a y value to a y value. So they told me that it's going to go 0 to 6, so that was nice of them. And then I'm just going to put, we want a formula for the area here. Um, I'm going to do a little side trip over here. Um, it says that we have an area of a rectangle this time, and I know in general the area of a rectangle is length times height. And so they told me that the height is 3 times the length. So I can rewrite this formula to be L times 3L because they said that the height was 3 times the length. And then that's going to simplify to 3L squared. 
Okay, the question is, what is the length of the rectangle? Well, the length of the rectangle is just this cross-section that I drew, and to get it, we're going to do right minus left. So in order to do right minus left, I do have the curve y equals 2 squared x, which I need in terms of y. So I'm going to solve this for x. So first thing that I'm going to do is divide both sides by 2. So I'm going to get y divided by 2 is equal to the square root of x. And then to get rid of the square root, we'll take the square of both sides. So x will equal, I'm going to distribute that square, so we're going to get y squared over 4. So for my area, I'm going to have 3, and then in for the length, I'm going to put y squared over 4 squared. And I'm, I guess I could simplify that if I wanted to. Um, it's not 100% necessary. Um, so I guess if you want to simplify it, go ahead. I'm just going to because I feel like it. So we're going to get volume equals 0 to 6. My area is going to be 3 times y to the 4th over 16 um, dy. If you are afraid that you're going to simplify that incorrectly, there's, no say, there's nothing saying that you have to actually simplify it. So that will give you the volume of that figure. Okay, um, that one was also worth 3 points. We got 2 points for the correct integrand. So this part right here was worth two points. So each mistake you made on it, subtract a point, maybe you, oops, you know what, and I totally, one thing that I forgot that I should have said, when we did right minus left, I didn't show that. It should have been right minus the left was zero. So that really didn't matter in my answer, but I definitely should have thought about that just in case. So anyway, my setup is fine. Um, that was worth two points. Maybe if you forgot to, you had it right, but you had things in terms of x instead, you'd probably lose a point. Um, so that was worth two points. And then you got one point for the right answer, which was actually showing the whole setup. So that was worth your third point. All right, so hopefully you got a lot of points on that one.